Hello, my name is Pablo Yanez, and today I will be presenting to you the banking concept versus the problem posing concept. In this scene, we can see that students are confused, struggling, and greatly frustrated by the unattentive teaching style that this professor has. This is the case in many classroom universities around the United States of America. And today I will be presenting to you two different teaching concepts, the problem posing concept and the banking concept, two very controversial concepts. Paul Fuhrer was a professor of history and philosophy of education in the University of Recife and in 1960s he was involved with the popular education movement to deal with massive literacy. This was where he developed the analysis of these two very controversial concepts in his book 1970, The Book of Pedagogy of the Oppressed. The banking concept is when an educator looks at students as if they were empty containers ready to be filled with knowledge. This is a very famous uh, form of teaching in many countries, but it seems just not to fit the American society. But their approach to this banking concept is a more efficient method. It is economical in that little tools are needed to relay the information to the students, and the information is clear, which is one of the most important aspects of teaching and learning. The cons of the banking concept are that it doesn't encourage students to be creative thinkers and to form individual ideas. Many of the students taught under the banking concept lacked a lot of team skills and this does not teach students to have an open mind. The banking concept also has a very negative effect in our society today. Many of our students do not uh, appreciate the education that they have within this country. But there's another concept that may be helpful. Problem posing education solves the student teacher contradiction by recognizing the knowledge is not deposited from one to another, but it's instead formulated through dialogue and interaction between the two. But this, this concept also contains many pros and cons. We will first go over the pros. The pros is it is a tool for developing and strengthening critical thinking skills. Inductive questioning process that structures dialogue within the classroom, identifying the individual aspects and social context of a problem, and expressing each idea and experience of each student. But there are also cons to the problem posing concept. Due to the lack of time, not all the material is covered, and students who are in need of aid may not get the attention they need due to this limited time. It is very hard for a professor to give each individual the attention they need when all students are needing help. This is one of the major cons of the problem posing concept. But one of the most important things is a, a student's opinion. Esperanza Gomez, current student at Boise State University, thinks that the banking concept is a very good concept perhaps in other countries where education is more valued by her peers. Education in other countries is highly valued, which is why the banking concept is very important, fits correctly into their education system. The reason behind this, time to waste. So the banking concept fits correctly to the characteristics of the teacher and the students. The students know what to expect and the teachers know what to teach. But in our American society, the professor needs to pay more attention more individually. The reason behind this is that since the students do not value education, they need a more attentive type of teaching and learning. This is why the problem posing concept would be very helpful in our society. Banking concept is very economical and very efficient but our American society is not ready for this system. Now, we will drift on to a more professional point of view, which is a professor's opinion. Professor of Sp a Spanish professor at the University of Boise State, Angeles Gomez, said she believes the students need one-on-one -on -one attention. Students will learn more and students are more likely to pay attention and not fall asleep in class. My rhetorical goal for this project is to inform professors in which way students learn best in our American society, benefiting both the professors and the students. Free 
created using Powtoon.